She didn't even have tickets, but she still got front row seats. That to me is just amazing. <laughs> don't put us in, in a traffic jam. We don't like queuing. I don't queue. <laughs> you know when you were a little girl, what did you dream of? You know, at the time I wanted to live in a castle, I wanted to have, um, you know, a certain type of life. I've had all that. Your life seems like so much fun. Is it fun? I, I have a, a good time most days. Yeah. And when you don't have a good time? I even have a good time because I'm enjoying being a bitch. <laughs> I do. Do you? Yes. Because I think, I don't... You think I'm nicer than that? I think you're much nicer than that. Yes, but even so, I don't think I you need to monkey. enjoy. I don't think you need to enjoy oh, okay. being a monkey or a bitch. But I sometimes like it. And every time I see you, you're always surrounded by lots of people. Yes. I want an interesting life. You confront your loneliness, you are totally free. You don't have to do what convention tells you to do. So would you say you're lonely? I think everybody is, or they can feel lonely. And they may want to have somebody in their life, or, but actually, I feel much better not having somebody done in my life. It's not so disturbing. What do you mean? We confront our innermost fears. They're never as bad as you think they are going to be. Simply becoming wealthy hasn't provided Amanda with the perfect fairy tale. I seem to live with her. More relatable. When I first met you, I felt a little bit uncomfortable because, and it was all a little bit intimidating because it was it was so different from the world I knew. We're living very different lives, and that was the whole idea behind this. It was yes. the fact that you wanted to see. Yeah, we need to get to know what's happening in other parts of London. Literally just 10 minutes down the road. I don't think people are aware, from both sides, I don't think people are aware of what's happening just 10 minutes down the road, how your neighbours are living. Before I left, Amanda wanted to show me her favourite jewellery store. OK, let's go in. It's been an education. It's made me reflect on how I view wealth. This we made up for Beyonce for where it was uh, yes. Uh, Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce wore it in. Yeah. Well, that's what the women of the world. We yeah. Made yeah. Uh, uh, I think often you sort of look back at your childhood, and even if it was great, I think, you know, if, if we had a bit more money, maybe we would have had a happier this or a better that. Oh my god, I'm Beyonce, guys. <laughs> and actually, after having an insight into this world, I don't think that's necessarily the case. She'll be a Chelsea girl soon. You can't blame people for having privilege, and I absolutely don't begrudge anybody who has a lot of wealth. One more, give me a wild one. <laughs> but I just wish they would open up their window, look outside. I think if they could just begin to understand and empathize with the struggles of so many people in our society, that would be the start of social change. Thank you.